Hi, I'm John Haas with Haas Off the Grid, uh, your destination travel adventure fly fishing, saltwater fly fishing challenge show. Um, you can catch us at HaasOffTheGrid.com. Hey, today I'm here to talk about how to organize your tackle box. And you know, when most of us think of tackle boxes, we think of this this old image of a tackle box, right? This big giant box that we stuck everything that you could think of into. Um, here's an old beat up one of mine where you know, I've got a whole bunch of saltwater gear stuck in here. And basically we organized it by sticking like things into these trays um, so that we could have access to them and organize them in a way that made some logical sense to us. You know, this has got a bunch of saltwater gear in it. I've got jigs over here that are similar and I've got some lures that we pull for tuna or something like that and then I've got plugs. So this box was organized basically for saltwater gear and if I was on a saltwater trip I'd take a box like this with me and um, and hopefully have what I needed. Now today we've taken these trays and modularized them into boxes and so most people when you think of today's modern tackle box are incorporating some kind of a enclosure, whether that's a non-rigid bag or a rigid bag that has slots in it for plastic boxes and plastic boxes. So this is a bag that I've got set up for salmon and based upon the gear, I've got corkies for salmon in here. I've got spinners uh, and some plugs in this one. Um, and you know, I'll have different things like that for each species. I'll have different bags for each species. Here's one for steelhead. Um, and I'll organize things like flashers and I'll take some closed cell foam and tie up some leaders. But you're basically using these modular boxes, plastic bags. These are some plugs, um, Brad's bait plugs. Um, and different things like that to get organized. Um, this bag actually has some extra pockets so I generally put things like leader material and hooks in this pocket. This is just miscellaneous stuff and this one I might stick bobbers and planers and stuff like that. Um, but the key to it is that you know it allows you to be modular and allows you to get the size box you need for the gear that you're going to have. This is a steelhead box and so I got a ton of steelhead plugs I use um, certain times of the year with my drift boat and so I can stick a, a lot of plugs in one of these boxes. I can stick spinners in another box. Um, these are steelhead rags, basically foam version of a corky, keep a bait higher in the higher water. Um, corkies, terminal gear, uh, and more corkies, and then I use closed cell foam to tie up pre-tied pre leaders with stuff that I need for steelhead and, and then uh, slinky weights that I've already pre-tied up in different cl sizes so I know that's quick access but I can take all that and stick it in a bag and I'm ready to go steelhead fishing or whatever type of fishing you want if you live in the salt water you might have a bag that has certain bag uh, certain boxes that you have certain types of uh, jigs or baits or lures uh, you might have those uh, in your boat, um, your boat might already have tray, uh, holders for trays, um, but we're all going modular today. And you know, and the thing I like about this system, and I have another bag here just for kokanee and um, shad and smaller type fish. That if I go to a certain situation and I know I'm going to be cert fishing for a certain amount of certain type of fish in a certain way, I can go to these bags and pull out the boxes and things that I need, throw it in another bag, and I'm organized and ready to go. Staying modular is going to be the key to making sure that you have what you need when you need it and you have an organized tackle box.